Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. A wild case out of Houston, Texas, Harris County. Janie Santana was arrested in the past. Let's talk about Rudy Farias. Rudy Farias, unknown age, suspected to be in his 20s, disappeared eight years ago, allegedly. But looks like that story has been a hoax. Not true. But let's talk about Rudy's mom. Let's talk about Janie. Rudy's mom. A woman that has many, 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 many aliases, by the way. All right, so Janie has multiple AKAs. She goes by Janie Santana, Janie Farias, Janie Uresti, Janie Rodriguez, Janie Santana Ortega, Janet Rodriguez, Jane Diaz, Jay Rodriguez, Janie Santana, Janie Rodriguez, Rodriguez, uh, various, you know, different ways to spell it and different middle names. Janie S. Ortega, Janie Alexis Santana, Janie D. Santana, Janie L. Santana, Janie F. Arresti, Jimmy Santana, Jamie Santana, Janie Curros, Curros. O.J. Santana, Janie S. Diaz, Janie S. Larios, J. Santana, Janie Diaz. So she got a bunch of AKAs, this woman. Who is this woman? Who is this woman? So she has been arrested in the past. Not very much for violent stuff, but I'll show you her arrest record right here. So Janie Farias has some criminal record from the past. This one in 1996, uh, Janie Uresti. It looks like disorderly conduct, firearm, deadly firearm. Something with a firearm charge back in 1996 uh, from Houston. And it looks like it was a misdemeanor. And it looks like she was arrested by the Houston Police Department. But it looks like the case was dismissed. So this case dismissed here. Let's keep going on. Here is another arrest. Janie Uresti. November 22nd, 1994. Disorderly conduct. With a firearm. firearm. It might be the same type of charge as before. And then here is some uh, possible charges from her. August 2020, while Rudy was allegedly missing, no driver's license. She didn't have a driver's license, Harris County. And uh, look, Janet Rodriguez, 2019, Harris County, speeding over 10 miles an hour over the speed limit. Oh, you can't speed. Please obey all speed laws. And then John J. Rodriguez, driving under the influence. Don't know if that's connected. It looks like Ohio. Nothing else uh, really on her, which is interesting. But she was arrested in the past, and she will probably most likely be arrested again. Let me know what you think. Will she be arrested again for what happened to Rudy? I'm hearing horrific tales of what was going on inside the home as Rudy was reported missing by the mother. You could assume that she would probably be charged with at least false reports. What about false imprisonment? But it's strange that Rudy doesn't want her charged. That's what is the reports out. But I could bet that she's going to be charged with something very, very soon. Very, very, very soon. Poor Rudy. Praying for Rudy. I'm going to be paying attention to this case, covering it, and I might even go to Houston to check out. Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. I'll keep you updated on uh, what else develops out of this weird mystery. I heard this, like, woman here, Janie, was like the ultimate catfish. Like, she has many, many, many accounts out there, and I'm going to be looking into them and looking into who this woman is and how was she able to get away with this for so, so long. We'll talk soon. Stay tuned.